my name is Summer Blount and I am going to do a three-part demonstration on how to gross a breast at the FMO. Okay, so part one will be uh, day one when you first receive the breast tissue. The first thing you want to do is check the requisition and make sure that the label on the specimen bag matches with the requisition and also that the specimen is the same. So we see here both left breast. So then we'll take the breast tissue out of the bag and note if there's a localization needle, which in this case there is one, but it's not inserted in the breast tissue. And then the next thing you wanna do is make sure that your suture orientation matches up with the breast tissue that you have. So we have three sutures. We have the short, which designates the superior aspect, the long designates the lateral aspect, and the double for deep. And this is a left breast, so this is the correct orientation. So the next thing you wanna do is weigh the tissue, which we put it up here, and it, it weighs 165 grams. So what I like to do is write these things down on the day one, so day two, it is easier to dictate. <clears throat> the next thing is to also have a container labeled with the patient's name, the specimen, uh, the specimen number, and you're gonna note the time in formalin. So the next step is to ink the tissue. So the way we do that is we use blue for superior, like the sky, and green for inferior, like the grass, and then the deep portion will be secondarily inked black. And you can save your paintbrushes and just use the same one for each color. So you should only need three. And then you flip the breast tissue and also do the superior inferior on the other side. And once you have the blue and green, you just want to secondarily overlay the black ink on the deep aspect. and then you would use the acetic acid to fix the ink. And the next thing you want to do um, is measure the breast tissue. So you always want to measure the longest axis first. So we can see here that the medial to lateral axis is longest. So when we measure that, we measure it at uh, 8.5 centimeters and on the same uh, paper towel, I keep the notes for dictation tomorrow. Um, the superior to inferior, it's going to be uh, 8.5 and anterior to deep is going to be 2.5 centimeters. So now on day one, we like to make the, the sections a little bit thicker, usually at about 8 millimeters. So then they're thick enough to cut in half the next day. So usually for the end piece, we usually cut in about one centimeter. 
and then the rest will be eight millimeter sections across. So I kind of just lay my ruler here to make sure that I am, you know, making the sections at the appropriate thickness. So we'll make this one centimeter so tomorrow we can do perpendicular sections if necessary. And you want to cut all the way down to just leave a little tag of tissue at the deep aspect. And then just one more section towards the end there. And another thing that you can do on day one is now that you can see your tissue, you could measure the maximum diameter of the tumor and also measure it from the margins. Okay, so once we're done doing the measurements, we will uh, place the breast tissue in formalin and then note the time and the date on either the requisition or the container so that can be dictated the next day. And that's the end of part one. Hi, this is Summer continuing the um, breast demonstration. This is part two. So this is day two and we've taken the breast out of formalin and cut it into the representative slices, uh, the reference slices and we can see here that we have seven slices. So what I did is each section I took and laid towards um, the left hand side so that the orientation stayed the same and as you can note the sutures have stayed in place to help for orientation and this board shows um, each orientation and also the number of the slices. So this is the point in time where you need to take a uh, the measurements of the tumor and the margins if you didn't do that on day one. So we can see here that the the maximum tumor diameter is on uh, slice five and we've me measured that at five centimeters and also for your dictation you want to note the extent of the tumor in which slices. So we can see tumor in slices uh, two through uh, even slice seven and also we can see a biopsy cavity in slice six. <clears throat> so we also want to note the tumor from each margin. So you look to see on which slice it's the closest and uh, we've measured for the, the deep margin on slice 3. It is only 1, 0.1 centimeter away. Uh, the superior margin we can see is 0.5 centimeters away. The inferior margin is 1.2 centimeters away. And then from the medial margin, it's one centimeter, as well as the lateral margin is one centimeter. And the anterior is 1.2 centimeters. So now that you have your slices laid out, this is when you want to take a picture. Okay, so to take a picture, you open up Processing Task Order Entry, which is the box that looks like this. And then you click the icon, which is the Blue Mountain, which is Images. And then once images comes up, you click the double black box to be able to acquire the photo. So then this picture comes up and you're going to take two pictures. One you're going to capture to file, which will go to the case, and capture to Twain to go into Cerner. So when you capture to file, it will go to your documents and then you can open my documents and find the picture and you will print to so that way you can draw your uh, block key out on your picture that you've taken and that's the end of part two. Okay this is a uh, part three of the breast demonstration. Um, we have now laid out everything in slices and now we're going to decide which sections that we need to take to show um, the maximum tumor diameter as well as the tumor in relationship to all of the six margins. Uh, so for the medial margin we're going to take a, a 
couple representative sections perpendicularly. And then for slice number two, we can take a section on this end showing the relationship to the deep and the superior margin. Slice three is actually a little closer, so we'll take the section showing the superior margin and also a section from the closest deep margin on slice three. Slice number five had the greatest tumor diameter, so we're gonna make one contiguous section of the entire slice. Uh, we need to put in the biopsy cavity that was seen in slice number six. And slice number seven has tumor, so we wanna make sure to show the perpendicular relationship to that lateral margin. So now that we're, we've decided which sections to take and we've achieved this with our attending, we need to have our caps made. If you had a cap, you want it up in the flower. Oh, thank you. Let Let's me double check. check the numbers. Okay, looks good. Okay, so um, when, F when Anthony gave me the caps, I double checked them because we like to have our procedures in process and we need at least one person to check. So if you make them yourself, then you have to stop and ask somebody else to check your caps for you. Um, so now that we know that our numbers are correct, we can go on with putting the tissue in the blocks. Um, so I've printed out two sheets of the picture we've taken and uh, one of them is to use while you're grossing so you can get it dirty and then the second sheet is to transfer to the clean copy that will go with the requisition and to the attendings. So on slice one we've made a couple of perpendicular sections and these representative perpendicular sections in slice number one will go into the same cap, which is the medial margin. Slice number two, we have this uh, superior margin. Okay. Slice number three, we have the closest superior and deep. And then in slice number five, we're gonna have one contiguous section that goes from superior to inferior. And, and this is caps number five through nine. Okay, and then we have our biopsy cavity in slice number six. And then we have our perpendicular section of the lateral margin in slice number seven. So that concludes part three. Okay, so this is the sheet that we printed out to document our block key. Uh, so to show what sections I've put in each cap, I've drawn it here on a, this sheet with a Sharpie. Uh, so you can see the perpendicular sections here and the end piece uh, and this is just representative sections of the deep margin, and you can tell this from our uh, orientation up here. Uh, on slice number five, we have one contiguous section from superior to inferior, so you fill in the, uh, block, the cap number. And then we have our biopsy cavity here. Uh, so since the needle was received separate from the tissue, we do want to make sure to TE that section around the biopsy cavity even though we have a gross lesion. And then we have a perpendicular section of the lateral margin with the tumor. Okay, for the last part, now we're to the uh, section where we can actually do the dictation. We have all of our documentation done. Uh, there is a sample dictation for the breast case on the wall next to our grossing station. So. The first thing you do is you uh, check the requisition. You're gonna read the patient name, the specimen, the clinical information, and then you go back to your container and you say uh, what the container reads. So you looked and say the patient's name, the specimen, and then the case number. So the specimen container is labeled with the patient's name. And then 
Received fresh is a 165 gram portion of breast tissue with suture designations of short equals superior, long equals lateral, and double equals deep. The specimen is 9.5 centimeters in greatest diameter from medial to lateral, comma, 8.5 centimeters in diameter from superior to inferior, comma, and 2.5 centimeters from anterior to deep, period. A localizing needle is present in the uh, specimen bag but is detached from the breast tissue, period. A um, white and red tumor is present in the cut surface of the breast tissue, which measures five centimeters in greatest diameter uh, by one centimeter, period. This tumor comes to within uh, 0 0.1 centimeters of the deep margin, comma, 0 0.5 centimeters from the superior margin, comma, 1.2 centimeters from the inferior and anterior margin, comma, and one centimeter from the medial and lateral margin, period. The tumor is seen in the reference slices two uh, through seven, and a biopsy cavity is identified in slice number six. The remaining breast parenchyma is yellow fibroadipose tissue, period. In parentheses, the superior aspect is inked blue, comma, the inferior is inked green, comma, and the deep overlaid in black, period. Serially sectioned from medial to lateral in seven reference slices. Representative sections in 11 caps. And then we go on to dictate our block key. So we use the sheet that we've already made, um, but we also check our block key as well as looking at the breast tissue to make sure that everything is in check. So for the block key, we have A1, slice number one, representative perpendicular sections of the medial margin. A2, slice number two, with nearest superior margin. A3, slice number three, with nearest superior margin, A4, slice number three, with nearest deep margin, A5 through A9 is slice number five, one contiguous section with maximum tumor diameter, A6, or sorry, A10 is slice number six, representative section of previous biopsy cavity, and A11 is slice number seven, perpendicular section of lateral margin. Okay, and this is the end of the uh, breast demonstration. Hopefully you will find it useful. Um, and just to give credit to Anthony for being our cap maker and also to Hermina, my assistant, and our videographer, Dr. Watt. So uh, <laughs> I will record this video for Loma Linda University at the Department of the Pathology at FMO. And this uh, video will not be post or disclosure to any other department except the Luma Linda only at FMO at the computer for the resident purposes <laughs> or the training actually. And uh, this is it. Today is uh, 528. 528 and then um, hopefully we're going to record this. <laughs> I'm signing it. And today is uh, 528. Here's my initial too, so hello, hi. <laughs>